hello everyone and welcome to neat mentor uh, in this video we are going to share uh, with you the probable seat increment in dnb and diploma and uh, you would say that it's not officially available so on what basis you are making this video and showing all the data okay uh, i'll show you the list first of all and i'll show you the sources also this is the list of uh, this is the complete list of dnb plus diploma including all the branches okay with its uh, last accreditation year and it's available on the website of nb so we have taken it from the nb website and whichever row you see in the green color are the new institutes which are going to get added in the seat matrix this year officially seat matrix will be published on mmc mcc website okay but right now there is no seat matrix neither for government deemed nor for dnb and diplomas but if you look at the source source website like nmc for government deemed institutes and look at the nb website okay for uh, dnb and diploma okay so you would get an idea that they have updated the seat details but up to what extent that's true we can't tell you so i am giving you this data on the base of the sources from the nb okay and i'll give you the comparison branch wise in which branch how many seats are going to get increment as per the nb details uh, which is published on their website so all these institution which are in the green color are going to get added newly okay because how i figured out that these are the new institutes because if you go to the participating institutes on mcc website you will figure out that there are many new institutes which are added which were not available in the seat matrix last year okay so very lengthy list is there okay uh, for uh, these all are dnb okay or diploma so this list can be available to you can be make made available to you on the our telegram group how we can join the telegram group you can find the link in the description of the video okay only on the telegram group you can find this link and you can receive all the updates also on the telegram group regarding the ongoing process of the counseling whenever it starts any registration any choice filling any seat increment any rule changes everything will be get, getting there so it's very big list okay it has around 198 pages okay and it has all the rest. towards the end you will find that diploma in ccr dmrd all such things this is the complete list and now on the basis of this list and in comparison with the last year seat details i'm going to share you my analysis before that if you are new here please do subscribe and you can avail our packages uh, for dnb and diploma you can avail the package of 20000 that's on the middle and the left side is the last two years cut off details and the uh, third one is for the deemed universities and private colleges it includes dnb and government as well okay you can visit our website okay i'll try to upload this pdf on website also okay so let's get started here you can see a screenshot screenshot taken from the mcc website and this is where i was talking about that you can find out the number of institutes and its details it doesn't have the seat details in different branches for particular institute but it has the number of institutes which are going to get added and will be available in the seat matrix so totally uh, for nb courses like diploma in dnb 1329 entries are there as of, as on date today which is updated when i check this uh, participating institutes uh, list just two weeks earlier it was having 1294 entries okay since then around uh, 30 around 35 35 more institutes are added so seats are getting incremented now let me show you that uh, in the newly added institutes how many seats are there so for dnb they have added 150 new seats and for diploma 94 new seat, new seats totally 244 if you just consider the newly added institutes where the number of newly added institutes is more than 100 okay so and now in comparison with the last two years data okay the total number of dnb seats last year 
4249 as per the seat matrix of round 1 and diploma and diploma seats last year 2037 totally 6286 seats were there last year in the round 1 for dnb and diploma inclusive this year as per the details available on the nb website in dnb itself 5492 and diploma 3200 20 seats are there totally 8712 and total increment 2426 including dnb and diploma i am not say, claiming that this number will be correct it can be lesser than this number okay uh, surely it can't be more than that but they might have uh, some details available on their nb website which they won't upload uh, upload or they won't upload okay but i'm taking this as a source because right now we don't have any other official source other than nb okay it is also possible that some seats might get added in the round 2 now let's do the comparison of nb diploma seats in last year and this year nb diploma uh, diploma in anesthesia last year there were 398 seats in the first round and right now as per the nb website 615 seats to 217 seats increment that's a big increment and in diploma family medicine 96 seats are going going to get incremented as per the details available on nb website in dgo 242 that's huge number if it happens diploma in ophthalmology around 124 diploma in ent around 69 diploma in pediatrics around 285 okay so maximum seat get an increment in dch diploma in radio diagnosis dmrd 85 seats will be added and uh, diploma in tb chest 63 there is a new branch diploma in emergency medicine it has just two seats in one college okay so totally increment is 1181 approx as per the seat availability on the nb website okay the same number here now let's talk about uh, how is the seat uh, distrib- increment expected in dnb branches so that's more important Diplo- D- dnb anesthesia last year 588 and this year 701 so 113 seats of incremented expecting ct uh, ctvs 6 years course uh, 12 seats are going to get incremented in dermatology 10 seats last year 16 and this year 26 emergency medicine 66 will be incremented and totally this year 226 family medicine 34 number of seats are going to get incremented general medicine huge number it is going to get uh, around 1102 1, 1102 and 283 seats are getting incremented in general medicine itself general surgery 140 seats will be incremented as per the details available is not my information it's uh, all the analysis done from our side the credit goes to nb website and uh, any blame you give you give to nb not to us uh, blood transfusion 11 seats increment expected neurosurgery 6 years course 21 seats are going to get incremented nuclear medicine 7 seats uh, ops and gyne 87 seats will be there uh, more than last year ophthalmology 58 seats orthopedics i'm just telling you the incremented count orthopedics 1 123 seats ent 25 more seats pediatric surgery 6 years course 3 seats pediatrics 112 seats pathology 39 more seats plastic surgery 6 years course 5 seats psychiatry 20 more seats radio oncology 26 more seats radio diagnosis 64 more seats and respiratory medicine 81 more seats is almost getting doubled in respiratory medicine so this year 1 2 4 3 more seats are going to get added in dnb as per the sources and total number of seats going to be 5492 approx and last year it was 4249 so totally 8712 seats including dnb and diploma okay so that's the analysis i wanted to share with you okay now based on these things okay we can definitely calculate that what are the new institutes and those new institute which are the uh, departments are going to get started and based on that we can uh, finalize our choice preference because for the choice preference you just need to know the branch and institute number of seat doesn't matter if an institute has more number of seat it doesn't mean that you will give that institute uh, higher preference okay 
you have to arrange the choices based on like hands on based on the opd based on uh, whether a hostel is available there based on uh, clinical exposure based on the academics part so the sequence of the institutes would remain same in the first second third round okay it should not change because you are changing preference it means you are confused okay so based on the this list you can definitely figure out like how to arrange this okay in case you need our help you can definitely um, reach out to us to take our services we will help you in the choice preference we will also provide you the uh, contact details of the gs who joined last year or like last to last year okay in some of the institutes where we have our contact okay in the newly institutes we will uh, give you an idea like how to arrange it among the uh, available institutes so it's lengthy list total number of institute so far i'm showing you the number again it's 1329 1329 number of hospitals 1329 hospitals is impossible to get review what all of them uh, for a candidate okay but if you're desperate to look uh, uh, looking to get a seat in particular department you have to fill all the choices uh, in case you don't want to go for a particular location you can skip them but you have to put my maximum number of choices it matters a lot like how you arrange that because that only is the input you are going to give to the counseling authority and based on that they are going to give you the result to you okay so hope this video is, was useful to you if so please uh, share with others so that they will also know like how uh, the seats are uh, going to get incremented this year uh, particularly for dnb and uh, diploma thanks for watching have a nice day